project is a collaboration between computer scientists and chemists. The computer scientists are interested in machine vision. That is, can a computer be taught to recognise everyday tasks? And if that task is done well or not? We used some of the seed cord funding to buy some GoPro cameras and attach them to undergraduates doing their chemistry labs to record what they're doing with their hands as they do their practicals. And we're in the process of training the computers to recognise the lab activities, such as filtering and pouring, that the videos show. Ultimately, you can imagine a situation going forward where a surgeon performing an operation is monitored by a computer as they do so. And because the computer knows what a good procedure looks like, it can guide the surgeon as they do the operation. So I'm a bacteriologist and I work on antibiotic resistance. And antibiotic resistance is quite common in farms. We're particularly interested in how the complex interaction of the sites within farms can lead to the spread of antibiotic resistance. And the Gene Golden Institute has allowed us to study this by using multitask modelling to take these individual parts of a farm, consider them separately, but also consider how they link together. We've identified risk factors, management practices that cause antibiotic resistance to increase or decrease on farms. And this has allowed us to apply for large research council funding projects to develop these ideas further and potentially reduce antibiotic resistance in farming. We've been working on a project visualising qualitative data using computer-generated images. We've been taking verbal and non-verbal elements of communication in group dynamics and then we've been generating what we're calling an energy line which shows when the group is very engaged and when it falls away. So we're conveying what was the mood of the group during that time and how did it fluctuate? What were the engagement levels of the participants and how did they change? When did they use laughter and what type of laughter was that? And what impact did that laughter have on the group dynamic? Putting all those things together so they're clear and accessible and attractive has been the focus of this project using the money from Gene Golding. I'm a postdoctoral researcher in the School of Geographical Sciences looking at ice sheet mass change and the role of global glaciers and ice caps in sea level rise. We have previously developed a novel statistical approach to combining diverse satellite and field measurements of Antarctic ice sheet mass change. This has required collaborations between glaciologists and mathematicians and pioneering the new statistical techniques. The Gene Golding Institute has enabled us to produce a web application providing these results in a visually appealing and accessible manner. In the future, we plan to extend the web application to incorporate other components of the sea level budget, such as mountain glasses and ice caps. Our project was an audio-visual art piece based on some data from the John Chidera lab of a protein. The support from the Gene Golding Institute was really helpful in allowing us to work with the Loghetti String Quartet and George Holloway. Our work was very interdisciplinary. We combined deep learning, statistical modelling, chemical physics, classical composition, and these all came together in the final performance of Metastable.